Toyota presents a wide selection of environmentally friendly technology vehicles. President and Executive Chief Engineer of Toyota Daihatsu Engineering and Manufacturing Yoshinki Konishi revealed that electric cars are mostly used by consumers not as primary cars, but as secondary ones. We see, after discussing with consumers, that their electric car is their second or third car, not their main car, he said at a media discussion in Tokyo, Japan, recently. Yoshinki said that electric cars being used as secondary vehicles is the situation in Asian countries. Where they want the main car to be able to cover long distances and cross cities. Meanwhile, according to Yoshinki, the second or third car has limited use, and is not used as often as the main car. Yoshinki also said that this consumer habit is common in big cities in Asian countries, where electricity costs are not that expensive, and infrastructure is relatively adequate. Consumers have their own calculations, where is a second or third car, an electric car is the best, he said. The problem of electric car mileage, which is still less than conventional or oil-based cars, turns out to not be a problem. Back again, considering that most consumers use it as a secondary car. As a secondary car, electric cars are very profitable, considering the cost of petrol which is getting higher every day. We also asked consumers, what about the mileage issue? They have no complaints, explained Yoshinki. Even so, that doesn't mean that electric cars can't be used as main cars. Even though it takes time, electric cars are certainly very promising and will dominate as the main vehicle in the future. Yoshinki said that currently all automotive companies and stakeholders are continuing to strive to reduce the price of electric vehicles, especially the battery component which is still the most expensive component of these environmentally friendly vehicles. Localization of electric vehicle parts and ongoing incentives from local governments also play a big role in the cost issue. The infrastructure for providing electric car charging stations also needs to continue to be built. To receive electric vehicles evenly throughout the country, of course it will take longer, considering infrastructure, battery costs, vehicle costs and so on, added Yoshinki. For this reason, Yoshinki said, Toyota's multi-pathway strategy was carried out to reach more electric vehicle consumers, so as to achieve carbon neutrality in the future. With a multi-pathway approach, Toyota presents a variety of environmentally friendly technology choices that can be provided by the Indonesian people. Starting from hybrid EV, HEV, plug-in hybrid EV, PHEV, battery electric vehicle, BEV, and fuel cell electric vehicle. The multi-pathway strategy provides many environmentally friendly vehicle options to accelerate their use, so that everyone can contribute to carbon neutrality, he said.